Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Rochelle from Monoline Furniture in horrible, miserable, wet, rainy Sydney. What a day! Uh, today I'm over on the Dixie Guy channel, my favourite place to be. And we're working on this. Let's have a look. This is a piece I did previously. Here's the drawers. I kept it last time, of course, but I just finished another set of vintage drawers and I kept those, so now these have got to go. So, let's see what we've done so far. Bailey, can you be beat, please? So, previously the drawers were sanded and sealed with hemp oil and then painted inside those. The body was painted in, I want to say Stormy Seas. If you look back on the videos, you'll find it and you'll know. And again, it was sealed in hemp oil. So I need to make sure there's no hemp oil left on this. So I'm going to give it a quick sand all over. It's been a few months since I did it. So it's not something I'm concerned about. For now, let's just get a sander out and give it a sand all over so it's ready to take whatever I decide to put on it. quality but it's stainable so I think that's the direction I'm going to go in I've scuffed sand in everywhere else I've cleaned the dry white lining I've rinsed it off I've sanded the drawers now I'm going to have breakfast and decide what I'm going to do because I still ain't got a clue stain in the top is as far as I know that's it okay decision made I am going to go with deep sea in silk so that's the um all-in-one paint i've got just less than half a pot left it's gonna be plenty famous last words on the top i'm gonna go with a voodoo gel stain in a tobacco road love that and i'll top that with um gator hide this i don't need to top because it's got a built-in top coat and i'm using my mini look at the state of that sort yourself out rochelle clean your brushes properly so this will be two coats and like i said this was hemp oil i see it was sealed with hemp oil underneath but it was done a couple of months ago so it's fully cured so painting over it isn't an issue, but just to be sure, I scuff sanded it as well. And then cleaned with white whitening, which is a deep glosser. And then rinsed off with clean water. Preparation is key, guys. Don't release them to people who say you can paint furniture with no prep. You can, but not if you want it to last. Prep those pieces. watching that hasn't tried silk yet if not why not silk is also great if you are a full-time furniture flipper or you know you've got limited time for doing your flips if you've got small kids that are under your feet and you know you don't have the time to put into doing so many coats like the primer then the top coat then silk is great for that 
As you can hear, or as I've mentioned anyway, it's raining. It's not best to paint when it's raining, but you can. There's nothing stopping you. You just have to be mindful that your dry time is going to be a lot slower. All right, I'm just going to give it a really quick smooth sand. So this is um, a 240 grit. And you can feel the difference instantly. You're literally just doing that. It's all you're doing. It's not a big deal. It's not a lot more work. And after you've put the stain on, you can have a feel of it as well and see if it's raised at all. And if it has raised, then you can just sand it again. It's no biggie. My tools of choice. Tobacco Road. It's the Voodoo Gel Stain. This is a water-based one. Dixie Bell Gator Hide Sponge and water. Now, I like to spray this with water. I got this tip from Chris Dorner at Bella Renovere. So this is a water-based stain. So this is absolutely fine to do. And doing this just gives you a little bit more work time. So just like when you use chalk paint, and you water it down a bit, you can do the same with this. And it just helps with the stop start marks that you could otherwise get. Always give this a good shake. I'm sorry if you can hear that rain, guys. It's a shocker. And just rub it on. So this is actually, I'm going to show you the other colours that this comes in in a second. This is the Tobacco Road, which is probably my favourite. And when this is dry, I'm going to seal it with Gator Hide. My new favourite top coat ever. It's just great. It's um, water repellent rather than water resistant. So it's perfect for tops. It's right, I'm going to go around the edges. So I tend to do the edges last and the edges will generally take less coats than the top so always bear that in mind when it's the end of the grain it takes the stain a lot darker can you see that it's dark on the side straight away so where i'll probably do a second coat on the top i won't on the sides right here we go so booty gel stain the white magic so these are all the water-based ones that's white magic tobacco road so this is the one we're using now it's got two coats on i believe so I'm going to go with another coat and you can see that it's true to the colour. Look at that, temptress. That would look so awesome on a boho piece that I keep promising myself I'm going to do, but I haven't got the guts to do. Agreed. Bayo moss. I'm, I'm butchering that word, bayo moss. Now this one I could see me using. I love green, you know that. Denim, that's a blue. Up in smoke, and to dark grey, and black magic. Now I've actually created a driftwood effect using these four, and I just layered. So I think I pr probably put a base of the grey down, and then I just layered and just did almost stripes, but just really haphazard using those. So they're really good to have in your in your arsenal of stains <laughs> love those let's get some gator hide on this girl i'm actually going to apply it with a brush so this is the same brush that i use to um, apply the paint so it's the mini so again you want to do long strokes and don't overwork it again i'm going to have more work time today because it's a dump day i love this stuff so this has got a satin finish and I'll do a couple of coats so it's nice and durable. So this style is what sells really well in um, in Australia. I love my new staging area.
as always, thanks for sticking with me guys. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for Dixie Bell for having me on your channel again. If you're looking for the products, they'll all be in the description below. Take care, have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.